Welcome to Michelle's Paint Shop Newbie 101 Tutorials. This video tutorial is an introduction to the new Corel's Paint Shop Photo Pro version X3. All of our visitors that are going to be using Paint Shop Pro Photo X3 for the first time, you really should watch this introduction video because we're going to go over a few things. Now most of our tutorials will jump right into the full editor mode. We will not go over explaining from the organizer into the full editor, so this can be confusing for some. I'm going to help you get set up so that you will not have this problem following along with our tutorials. Here on the desktop, I just launched the program. It brought me right into the organizer. Now this can be a little confusing, especially to those that have used the program before. But those that are new to the program, may not realize that this is not the full editor program for Paint Shop Pro. I do not understand why they made this change, but they did, so we're going to have to live with that. Over in the right hand corner, you'll see Full Editor. Head right on over to that and click on it. The full editor of the program is going to open. This is the main program. When it opens, you'll see you have a learning center. I'm going to help you set up the main program so that you can easily follow along with our tutorials and the settings that I found from my past with Paint Shop Pro to be the most logical settings. So head on over to File and go down to Preferences. Go right to General Program Preferences. The first area you want to hit is the Default Launch Workspace. Over on the right, click on Full Editor. Now, of course, you can always change this back to Organizer. You can always switch back from the Organizer, the Full Editor, and the Express Lab, because Paint Shop Pro always offers the button. It is my suggestion that you open up into the Full Editor. This is all we'll have to do in this section, so just go ahead and hit OK. Now what I'd like you to do is head on over to View. Go to Toolbars. You want to make sure you have a check mark next to Standard, Status, and Tools, and that is one of the default settings, so it should already have checks. Now under Palettes, this is where we're going to make some changes. I suggest that you leave the Learning Center on for a short time, because it does offer some good tips. You really need to have a check mark next to Layers. Now remember, when you click on it, it's going to close that palette again. So go back to View, head to Palette, this time put a check mark next to Materials. Go back to View, Palettes. Down below you should have a check mark next to Tool Options. This is very important to have open. You'll see here is the Learning Center. So if I was to go and start a new canvas, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Go to File, New. The new image properties box is going to open up and you'll see here there's some settings. I'm not going to get into the settings right now but I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Once I've done that, now my main tools are active within the program. They will only stay active if there is an open image. So let me show you something. I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool. When I clicked on the eyedropper tool, the Learning Center gave me some pointers on what I can do with that dropper. The same goes with the Fill and the Pen tool. You can always click More Details to get more tips on using these tools. Now the center does take up quite a bit of room. You can always slide it over a little bit, uh, you know, but that's defeating the purpose. But once the center becomes you know, a little bit pointless for you to have open, you can always go and click to close it. And to make sure it doesn't open anymore, go to View, Palettes, and make sure there is no check mark next to Learning Center. There shouldn't be, but just in case it is there, you can uncheck that. This will prepare you for using the program and our tutorials on the website. Most of our tutorials go right into the full editor and we do not go into the organizer or the express lab. And I just uh, wanted to make sure that this introduction video got out there so there is no confusion. 
head on over to the tutorials page and start going and enjoy those tutorials.